Hi there, I'm Liv Thick, and I'll be sharing my body measurements with you today. Stay tuned. All right, so I am four months postpartum. I am still breastfeeding my baby, and I just started working out a month ago, and I've walked probably 24 miles this month. So what I say is you, you have to start somewhere. A little bit of something is better than nothing at all, okay? So I haven't measured myself since I've had the baby, and the last time I measured myself was before I got pregnant with my sixth daughter. So. Let's see what we have today. Okay, so for the bust area, it is 38 inches. Okay, my waist area where I actually wear my clothing at, I wear my clothing high waisted because that's the way that I'm able to kind of camouflage different areas of my body um, that have changed since having children. So my waist is, let's just say 32, no that wasn't right because it's not sitting right. My waist is, let's say 32 and 3 quarters. <clears throat> 32 and 3 quarters. Now let's measure the part that was affected by having children, but it's okay because you just have to learn how to pretty much redress yourself after you have children. So don't don't dwell on your body parts that have changed after having children. You just have to find a better way to dress yourself and a better way to find things that will flow with your body. Okay, so that part of my waist is 36 inches. Let's do my calf muscle. My calf muscle is 16. My calf muscle is 16 and a half inches. Um, let's do bicep. My biceps are 13 and a quarter. Not flexed, so let's flex the bicep. And that is 14 inches. So now, my neck. My neck is 13 three quarters and now let's do my hip area my hip area is 46 inches compared to before I got pregnant um, and I was still exercising going to the gym lifting heavy weights I was 48 and a half inches so now down to 46, but that's no problem. I still look lovely. I still feel lovely. And those are my body measurements. Four months. Those are my body measurements. Four months postpartum. Baby number six. So let me just go through my entire flow of exercising. So what I'll do is I'll go walk a mile and then I'll come back home immediately 
do not delay. I'll come back home and I'll start jump ropes. I'll do jump ropes. I'll do 100 jump ropes. And then I'll do my six form exercises. Okay, so I'll do 15 of all those exercises, and then I'll do 15 squats, and then I'll do 15 calf raises, and then I'll do 15 lunges. Hi, Bella. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you this morning. So lovely. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. My hyper dog. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No. No. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go. Okay. And then I'll do lunges. I'll do 15 on each leg. And then I'll go back to my jump ropes. 100 jump ropes. Okay. And then I'll go back to that same routine I just showed you. And then I'll go into 100 more jump ropes. Now, say for instance, it starts to rain heavily. And being that I have children, we go on my mile walk together. And if it's just pouring down raining, I don't take the kids out in that. Um, I just make up for it by doing more jump ropes. So I'll do 900 jump ropes instead of 300 jump ropes. And that takes care of my cardio. Um, okay. So that takes care of my cardio. I do not like to do, before I got pregnant, I was doing this crazy workout, right? And I was super toned, but I still feel like I'm, I, I still look amazing right now, but I was super toned. And I was just doing some crazy workouts, but now I just do like a basic workout. I feel like a little of something is better than nothing at all so I encourage you all out there if you're not one of those who really exercise I encourage you to do it because it may improve your blood pressure it may improve your flexibility it may improve the way you feel um, it just encourage you um, and you don't feel like your whole body is hurting I mean I'm an older I've gotten older I'm not as young as I used to be I'm 36 years old but I think that age is only a number, and I believe, I told my children, I'm going to be one of those old women who gets around really well, and who's still exercising, just, uh, it only takes a little bit, don't go crazy, because I feel like when you start training really hard, that's when you put your body through too much stress, and you don't stick to it, so I've been consistent for a whole month, so I walked about 25 miles, this entire month. All it takes is a little at a time and it, equ it equates to a lot over a period of time. So you've got to start somewhere. Okay? So what is my weight right now? My weight is 180 pounds, 0.8. Okay? Um, after I had, a week after I had my baby, I weighed myself. I was 179 pounds. 179 pounds. And I'm 180 right now. I breastfeed my daughter. And I pretty much eat whatever I want, and I feel lovely. Um, if I lose weight, so what? If I gain weight, so what? Um, you know, I'm just striving to be healthier. That's about it. Um, so those are my measurements. I lost three inches on my butt, but that's okay. It looks amazing.